You know, growing up, you can remember all kinds of toys. He-Man, Star Wars, you know, those toys you really loved. And then there's some that just, you've probably forgotten about, you don't even remember. You might see a picture of it one day and be like, oh yeah, I kind of remember that, or you don't even hardly remember anything about it. And then there's some toys in your head that you just have very fuzzy memories of. And you're like, what is that? It's so generic, I'll never be able to find it. Well, one such toy I had uh, that kind of always bugged me was a pencil sharpener toy. A little piece of plastic. I remember I was with my grandmother when I got it. My uh, grandmother on my mom's side, who usually I talk about the grandmother on my mom on my dad's side, but this grandma I didn't see as much as often. Uh, she passed away too when I was younger, uh, kind of early. But anyway, I can remember being with her at a store and probably used to shut me up. She bought me this little plastic television that she sharpened pencils with. And when you stuck the pencil in the hole and turned it, the image on the television would move. It wouldn't move. It wouldn't be anything fancy. It was, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of, you would get them in Cracker Jack boxes sometimes. It's like a little picture. And depending on what angle you look at it, the picture would move. I always liked that you could scratch your finger on it and make it, make it sound like you're scratching a record like you're one of the Beastie Boys or something. Um, but I, I never, I, I'll never see that. I never once in a while I would say, what was that? And I would try to Google it, search it and everything. Um, it would never come up. I don't know why. But then, the, then tonight, I just said, let me just, just type in TV. Well, I think what it was is it hit me earlier uh, this week that it was a pencil sharpener. I think I forgot it was a pencil sharpener. So this time I Google, I typed in TV pencil sharpener toy, 80s. Oh, my God. I found it. Now, apparently, these came from the 70s. And when I started thinking about it, I said, it probably was the late 70s when I got this. And let me pull it up right here so I can see it again. Uh, it looks like it was made in conjunction with the boarding company. Boarding, you know, they did milk. You remember them? But it also says Sterling on it. But I'll throw up some pictures so you can take a look at these things, too. Now, this is just some, I guess it's almost like a rack toy. Here it is. TV sharpener with, with shaving it keeps the shavings inside. I can remember peeling the back off and dumping the shavings out. I remember that. Uh, now, I cannot, for the life of me, remember what the picture was on the one I had. It wasn't anything like Star Wars or He-Man. Let it be cool. It was nothing, you know. It was some generic. I see a lot of with the Indian in a canoe. Um, but I can't. I've wrecked my brain all day. They try to figure out exactly what was in the one I had. Uh, seems like I remember two people on it, but I really I don't think I'll ever remember that But it blew my mind when I finally saw it now when I searched these on uh, Google all the ones were in a package and maybe mine came with a package, but I, I Don't remember any package, but it's probably I got it got to the car ripped out of the package and never uh, um, Saw the package again, but I can remember I can I see the store where actually I don't know why I can remember where I got it at it was a hardware store that was right by our house it's gone out of business long gone out of business now but it was a hardware store so I was she was probably in there buying some tape or something I don't know a hammer or nail who who knows what and I was probably probably up by the checkout one of those impulse items I was like oh come on gimme buy me this and she's like shut up I'm trying to buy a hammer and I'm like come on and I beg so much she probably says because it looks like it's pretty cheap she probably got it for me and I don't know why of all the toys you know I've gotten this one kind of burnt you know every once in a while a toy you get will burn in your head you know there's some Star Wars toys that I know I had that I don't really remember there's some like a Han Hall that I remember a lot uh you know the Han Hall I can look at it just floods floods memories back to me and then there's some I know I had as a kid I was like eh, I know I had I know I probably don't remember much about it uh, the only other thing I can think this on um, this same sale was something from Tommy. Tommy, y'all told me I pronounced it wrong. Tommy, T O M Y. Tommy. Uh, this was a little thin maze. It was probably about the size of maybe a comic book or more of a notebook, and it had a marble inside. And you would have to get it through one side or the other. I thought I would never ever find what that was, and then I, they call like monster mazes. Finally, finally, like a month ago or a little more than a month ago. I actually found them. I found them on eBay and they were going for like $60, $70. I just think there's three different ones. I had a blue one. I had the brown one. The blue, oh, I would get anything to buy these today. I'd never seen them at a toy show. And then when they come up on eBay, they go for like $80. And I can't, that's a lot of money for just something like that. 
But man, I would love to have that. There's just a couple of toys I would just love to have again. I probably get one of these TV pencil sharpeners. I've got to look on eBay. Uh, that maze. I would like the blue maze. The brown one would be cool too. But I would like to have the blue one. I, uh, I think I can still solve the maze in my head. God, I play with that maze so much. I play, oh, I play with that so much. Um, and what's the other one? Now I've got the third one. Oh. A Pac-Man watch. I could not wait to get Pac-Man watch for Christmas one year. And I love that watch. But I didn't have one of the joystick. I didn't know about that two years later. I was like, I get to play Pac-Man in school. Everyone else is doing schoolwork, learning, becoming smart, getting ready to go to college to be successful. <laughs> I'm playing Pac-Man on my watch because I got Pac-Man fever, Pac-Man fever. Oh, but I don't. I know this video is probably not going to do that well. Not Bill's going to be searching. Hey, I want to see a puzzle sharpener TV. But I just really want to talk about this one. That's what the noon video is more for. Is this what I want to ramble about? Uh, you know, I did one about a fast Hot Wheels car the other day. That, I don't know, but a lot of people didn't click on that one. I wanted to make it. But it's noon. Try to be a little bit more. I would say more serious at 8 o'clock, but that's not the case either. But it's more laid back at noon. More little small topics. But I guess that's it, guys. Don't forget, uh, we got the second channel. We got the shirt at JunkmanMerch.com. We got throwing up videos on TikTok now, that junk man, social media, that junk man, everywhere you can find that junk man. And somebody's licking my leg, and I hope it's the junkyard dog under the table. If not, I feel like that uh, police officer, the uh, police chief and police academy. <laughs> he thought it was Mahoney. Remember that? He thought it was Mahoney. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Let me know if you remember this, if you've ever seen this, or maybe, some, maybe you got something in the back of your head. You're like, I remember this toy, but I can't find it. Put it out there. Maybe that'd be a good topic for a video. Maybe you guys can give me some uh, toys you can't think of, and I can help you find what it is. Well, that's it, guys. I think that's all I got. I want to thank you for watching. Thumb up so you like my content. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again soon. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.